Hello, Assalamu alaikum, class six. I hope that you will find. Today is our lecture number five, chapter number one, cellular organization of plants and animals. In the previous lecture, we will learn about the organic system of plants and animals. In today's lecture, we will learn about major human organ system. This is uh, this is same topic as the previous lecture, but in this lecture we will discuss about the human organ system. But in the previous lecture, we will learn about the plants and animals organ system. Uh, the animals and human organ system are same. There is the only big difference between the human organ system and the animal organ system. The first kind of human organ system is digestive system. First type of human organ, your yeah, first kind of human organ system is digestive system. What is the function of digestive, digestive system? The work, the job of digestive system is that it consists of mouth, food, pipe, stomach, intestines, and liver. And the main work of digestive system is that they help in the digestion of the food. They help in the digestion of the food. And this is the diagram of the digestive system. See the diagram of the digestive system. First is mouth where you can take in the food and then it come to the digestive system where the where your liver, gallbladder, appendix, rectum, your large and small intestines, pancreas or stomachs include. In this in this whole digestive system, uh, their work is that they can digest the food. The only work is that they can digest the food. And the second kind of and the second kind of human organ system is respiratory system. Respiratory system. The respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues. What is organ and what is tissue? We will discuss them in detail in lecture number two. In lecture number two. Respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help you breathe. The main function of respiratory system that it can help you for it can help for breathing. Okay. The main work the main job of respiratory system that they can help you breathing. They can also absorb your oxygen from the air. They can also absorb oxygen from the air. So that's why your organs can work through the, through the absorption, absorb of oxygen from the air, your organs can work. They also function is that they can also clean the waste gases. They can also clean the waste gases such as carbon dioxide, that is your blood, include your blood, and the common problem which is come to the carbon dioxide which is from your blood is include allergies, infections, the respiratory system. The respiratory system consists of nose, windpipe and lungs. Okay, I again repeat the respiratory system. Respiratory system it is the system of organs and tissues. The main work of respiratory system that it can help you for breathing. They can also absorb the oxygen from your body. 
that's why they, their organ scan work they can also clean your waste gases which is included in your blood like carbon dioxide and the problem which is created from the carbon dioxide is allergies or infections the respiratory system the respiratory system consists of nose windpipe and the lungs nose windpipe and the lungs so in the next slide we will see the diagram of respiratory system classics see the diagram of the respiratory system in the diagram of respiratory system the bronchus bronchus your lungs rib diaphragm ribs lungs and trachea these all are included in the respiratory system these all are included in the respiratory system this is the second kind of human organ system and the third kind of human organ system is circulatory system the words circulatory mean that circulate okay circulatory means circulate the circulatory system is made up of blood vessels the circular the circulatory system is made up of blood vessels that carry blood away from and towards the heart the function of circulatory system that it can away from and towards the blood and the arteries carry blood away from the heart and means carry blood back to the heart okay the work of arteries that they can that they can carry blood to away from the heart and the function of the veins is that they can carry blood that they can go back to the heart the circular the circulatory system carries oxygen nutrients and hormones the circulatory system carries oxygen nutrients and hormones to cell and they can also remove waste product like carbon dioxide they can also remove waste product like carbon dioxide it can also contain the blood and vessels it can also contain the blood and vessels okay i again repeat the circulatory system the circular the circulatory system is made up of our blood vessels that can carry away from and towards the heart the two main which is include in the circulatory system is arteries and the veins the function of arteries that they can carry blood which is away from the heart and the function of the veins that they can carry blood to back to the heart to back to the heart the circulatory system they can carry and they can also contain the oxygen nutrients and hormones to cell and they can also remove the waste product like carbon dioxide they can also remove the waste product like carbon dioxide it can also contain the blood and vessels it can also contain the blood and vessels in an easy way you say that the main function of circulatory system is that they can that they can uh, uh, circulate the blood within the body that they can circulate the blood within the body the next kind of the next kind of 
human organ system is nervous system this is the diagram this is the diagram of circulatory system you can see that the blood red red blood inside the body circulate okay next is nervous system the nervous system is a complex collection of nerves and specialized cell and the specialized cell known as neurons and the specialized cell known as a neurons that transmit signals between different parts of the body the main function of the specialized cell that it can which is called neurons here you can say that the main function of the neurons that they can transmit the signal between the different part of the body it is also essential the body electrical wiring structurally they, the nervous system has two components yani it's mean that the nervous system has two types two components first is cns central nervous system central nervous system and the second is pns peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system okay i hope that you will understand all the types of human organ system let see the diagram of nervous system this is the diagram of nervous system in which there is a complex structure of nerves okay and also the specialized cell which is called the neurons and also the specialized cell which is called the neurons is present inside the body okay so here we will done all the human major organ system i again repeat the types of or kind of organ system human organ system first is digestive system and the second is respiratory system third is circulatory system and the fourth is nervous system okay class six if you have any query regarding the human organ system you will ask a question at the end of this lecture okay next is tidbits or it's meant that interesting information about the human body the human body is made up of the human body is made up of 200 different types of cell in flowering plants nine types of cells are present the human body is made up of 200 different types of cell in flowering plants nine types of cells are present the fresh water animals hydra has only seven different types of cells okay in the in this information it is that uh, the human body is made up of 200 different types of cells the plant made up of yeah in the plant there are nine type of cells are present in the animals fresh water animals water animals okay in the fresh water animals only seven different types of cells are present okay class six next is kidney next information is about kidney kidney are very important organs of the body they can remove waste from your blood and controls the quantity of water in the body 
the main function of the kidney is that they can that they can remove waste from your blood and they can also control the quantity of water in your body and the next information is about skin thus our skin is the largest organ of the body our skin is the largest organ of the body its outermost part is made up of hardest hearts dead cell its outermost part is made up of its outermost part is made up of dead cell okay it is that the skin is the largest organ of our body and the skin outermost part is made up of dead cell and we can make effort to make our dead cell look nice it is very strange that we can make our effort to make our dead cell look nice and the next is organism next is about organism organism is a combination of different organs it is a combination of different organs and organic systems which work in coordination which work in coordination organism is a combination combination of different organs and organic systems that work in coordination if any of the body organ system fail to work properly a living organism may die if your body if the any part of the organ in your body if any part of the organ in your body fail to work it means that your organ part does not work properly it means that a living organism may die next is the organization of life first is cell organization of life first is cell when the cell join it make a it make a tissue when the tissue join it make a organs and when the organs join it make organ system and all the organ system when we meet we are when we join all the organ system it make organism okay in this chapter chapter number 1 we learn about all these five types cell tissue organs organ system and organism what is cell what is tissue what is organ and what is kinds of organic system and different types of organism all the chapter number 1 are surrounded by these five things cell tissue organs organ system and organism cells when the cells join it make a tissue okay in the first lecture we learned that when the cell join it make tissue and in the second lecture we will learn that in when the tissue join it make organs and we will learn about the different types of organs tissues in the third we will learn about the organic organ system in the fourth we will learn about the organic system okay here we can done our chapter number 1 our chapter number 1 all ended is ended okay we will complete our chapter number 1 only exercise all left only exercise all left i come to the exercise of chapter number 1 Six class, open your books and mark the answers of questions. First is question number three. Answer the following questions in detail. Answer the following questions in detail. 
first is describe the parts and functioning of a light microscope describe the parts and functioning of a light microscope open your books class six all of you open your books and mark the answers of chapter number one exercise Okay, question number three. First part, describe the parts and functioning of light microscope. Come to the page number five. Student, open the book and page number five. Open the page number five. In page number five at the top, the word microscope was written. The word and the, also the heading was microscope. Mark with the microscope first four paragraph first four paragraph of page number five were included in part one question number three first four paragraph first four it start with the microscope is an instrument which is used okay it start with the air and end with the four paragraph two adjustment screws are used two adjustment screws are used mark the answer mark the answer and come to the second part describe the structure of plant cell describe the structure of plant cell also draw its label diagram Come to part number two. Open the page number six. Class six, open page number six. In page number six, the heading is animal cells and plant cells. Animal cells and plant cells. And page number six, second paragraph. There are many parts in a, there are many parts in a cell. Part two, question number three, part two, start with this line. There are many parts in a cell. And come to page number seven, first paragraph. Page number seven, first paragraph, it ends with the take place, the word take place in cytoplasm. Take place in cytoplasm. They end the part two end with the words take place in cytoplasm. Page number seven, first paragraph, only first paragraph. This paragraph include only three lines. This paragraph include only three lines. Okay, come to next part. Define one minute. Uh, this is hard part. Write a note on the nucleus of a cell. Write a note on the nucleus of a cell come to page number seven classics come to page number seven i hope that all the students of classics mark the answer of the chapter one exercise write a note on the nucleus of a cell come to page number seven there is a heading nucleus. You will start with that. The most important part of the, the most important part of the cell is its nucleus. Start with this word and end. This contain only two paragraphs. This contain only two paragraphs. The only nucleus topic is included. They will end with 
human cell has 46 chromosomes human cell has 46 chromosomes come to four part write about shoot, shoot system of a plant write about shoot system of a plant come to page number 11 class six come to page number 11 Page number 11, the last paragraph. Here the heading is shoot system. Last two lines. Last two lines. Page 11, last two lines. Let's start with the, the part of the plant, the part of a cell. The part of the cell or plant. They end with the page number 12, first two lines. Page number 12 first two lines producing seeds producing seeds okay come to part number five question three part number five question three part number five define a cell a tissue an organ an organ system and an organism first is cell Here I will type the answer of this question. Question number, part number five. Question three, part number five. A cell is the basic unit of structure of all living things. Only one land you will give a, only you will give a definition of a cell. A cell is the basic unit of structure of all living organism. Second, tissue. A group of cell performing same function is called tissue. Organ. An organ is made up of different tissues which work together. An organ perform one or more than one function. You will write down. I will send this file on Google Drive. We'll download uh, an organ system. An organ system. An organ system is a group of organ system which work together different organ system do one or more than one special function organism and organism is a combination of different organs and organ system which work together here our exercise are complete if you have any query regarding the exercise or or about this lecture you will send a question and don't raise hand. Any query? Class six, any question? D class print is good, but due to the internet problem, the screen will not show correctly. I thought that you were done this exercise which page number due to the internet issue that the print is blur that's why the print is coming blur and exercise 2.2 
I will send the, this PDF on Google Drive. Tidbits. Okay, look at tidbits. First of all, we discuss more than six and measure views. about the human body, their kidney, and their skin. Okay, first is, it is tell about the human body cells. It is about the cells. Okay, human body cells is made up of more than two hundred different types of cells. Okay, the human body cells is made up of two hundred different types of cells. In plants, only nine types of cells are present. Only nine types of cells are present. And in water animals, water animals, they are only, only seven different types of cells are present. Next information is about kidney. Kidney is your important organs of your body. The main function of the kidney is that they can remove waste from your blood and they can control the quantity of water in the body. They can control the quantity of water in the body. And that information is about skin. Skin is your largest organ of your body. Its outermost part, it is made up of dead cell. The outermost part of the skin is made up of that cell. We Any problem, yes. class? Yes, number three. If this square minus four is equal to zero, then they lose a uh, rational and equal. Okay? So that is called if we get our answer zero. So we are in and equal. And last case, case number four. If this square minus four is less than zero, then they lose a uh, imaginary or जिन बच्चों को साइज में प्रॉब्लम है ये फाइल में आप लोगों को पीडीएफ में गूगल ड्राइव में सेंड कर दूंगा वहां जाके आप देख सकते हैं एक्सरसाइज कर सकते हैं दिस टाइम यू विल अंडरस्टैंड प्लस शेयर प्लस 3x 1 0 सो Why the skin is made up of dead cells? Skin to dead cells, Manjee, because listen this, because the layer of the skin, the layer of the skin which is made up of
Yes, class. Once we ask that why the skin is made up of dead cell, why the skin is made up of dead cell? Okay, skin जो है वो क्यों dead cell से बनती है? The answer is that the skin is made up of dead cell because because the skin dead cells that do nothing. That they do nothing beyond providing a physical barrier that keeps water in and 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 chemical out. अगर आप उर्दू में आपको समझाऊँ क्योंकि ये इसलिए dead cells से बनी होती हैं इनका कोई काम नहीं होता सिर्फ आपको एक physical shape बना के दी हुई है skin ने बस इसका कोई काम नहीं है that's why they are made up of dead cells. I hope you will understand this answer. If you have any query, ask a question. You have only five minutes left.